So we all know martial arts students act a little different around their senseis, masters, and teachers. This isn't a kid thing, by the way. I see fully grown men beautifully revert back to elements of childhood around their esteemed martial guides. This is worthy of praise, not criticism. It's kind of cool, actually. There's something timeless about it. It honors some universal ancient code between craftsman and apprentice, student and teacher. It's cool to see this kind of respectful conduct between two people who would otherwise be equal if not for this rank differential. I know dudes who won't smoke in front of their masters, who won't drink in front of them. They won't swear, all that stuff. Despite being flawed, students of the martial arts want to display as close to perfect as possible in front of their karate daddies. <laughs> So here's the thing. It's very much like a parent-child relationship. There's interplay here with loyalty, trust, expectations, standards, and of course, love. Like I said, and I mean it, it's beautiful. After all, no child wants to disappoint parents that they love and respect. Now, being a kind of fighting journalist, and believe me, I use that term loosely, I've observed another pretty awesome thing. I've seen these parents, these senseis and masters and teachers. Well, I've seen them reciprocate on this beautiful ancient code of conduct and relationships as well. I know senseis who won't smoke cigarettes in front of their students. I know sensei dudes who love to smoke weed, for example, but choose never to talk about it, not even on social media, because they're a martial arts somebody. Otherwise, foul-mouthed masters are all of a sudden the perfect picture of politeness. I'm not talking about kids here. Remember, I'm still talking about grown-ass men. And again, this is totally cool, by the way. Grown men bound by a code. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, there is a slippery slope here, but that's a topic for another video. Explorations, for example, on how this beautiful relationship can get corrupted or off balance. But like I said, a topic for another discussion. Because I want to keep this post as positive as possible. So for now, I just want to let all you masters know that your star student, your perfect protege, your right-hand man, well, he loves snorting coke off prostitute butt cracks during his Vegas gambling binges. And to all you adult students. Well, your master is wanted in his home country for check fraud and he's got a secret big toe sexual fetish. All right, well, that's all, <laughs> that's all for now. I'll see you next time. I'm just playing. Hope you get the point. I love you. Thank you for watching FMA Source. My name is Jian. I'm out.